joined by 2015 PGA champion Jason Day. It's been five years, uh, um, but today you opened with a terrific 65, five under, no bogeys. Uh, tell yep. us about the no bogeys and, and how you saw your, your round go today. Yep, it was good. I uh, got off to a great start. I mean, got a little bit lucky between the bunkers on 10, but you know, you got to take the luck when uh, when that comes by. But um, today I drove it really nicely. And when I was out of position, I, I left myself on the right side of the fairways to be able to at least get somewhere around the greens. And if I did miss the greens, I left it in the right spot. So, um, yeah, very pretty sound the whole way around. I you know, had a lot of good quality sh iron shots coming into the greens. I uh, wasn't overly aggressive. And, um, you know, there was a couple of shots uh, on 9 and 17 where I hit it pretty tight. But, uh, you know, overall, it was very solid. Terrific. Let's start right here with number one. Yeah, Jason, do you feel some momentum coming in, and then can you take us yeah. through the birdie at nine, which you hit in? And yeah, so, um, yeah, there is definitely a lot of momentum coming in off uh, the previous finishes that I've had, uh, three top tens, which has been nice. Um, you know, the game feels like it's it's coming around. I'm not – I'm pleased with it. I'm not, like, excited. I, I shouldn't say I'm not excited. I am excited to come out and play every day, but I, I'm, I know that it can improve. Um and mainly uh, my putting uh, can improve a little bit more. Uh, I feel like I've been working very hard and, um, you know, in the off weeks, and especially when I come to a tournament, to be able to uh, get my putting back to where it is because it's been, always been a strength of mine. Yeah. And uh, I feel like the game is slowly coming around, the confidence is coming around because I'm starting to see the results, which has been good. But uh, getting back on nine, I hit a nice drive down the, down the left-hand side, had 211 yards, and there's a... Um, a black triangle tower at the back of the green. I was trying to go at that, and I kind of just blocked it a little bit. Um, but, you know, it was a five iron from 211, landed it uh, pretty pretty much on about 203 yards and then bounced up to, to the pin, and it was a very dead straight part. So, I mean, it was very hard to, to miss that one. Let's zoom out to Lucas. Lucas, you're with Jason Day. Hey, Jason, thanks so much for yeah. doing this. I'm just curious your thoughts on the challenges of the rough. I know right. it's patched in certain areas, but if you could just talk about the challenges of playing from the rough here. Yeah, I mean, it's fortunately, I, I wasn't in too much of it today. And then when I did hit into it, I, I got lucky. Like you said, it's very patchy. Um, I was actually, when I was doing the interviews, uh, I was watching Xander hit up nine. Uh, you, you obviously can tell how hard it is. And I mean, he was just off the fairway, so... You know, looking back on it, um, on today, I think I, I would think that the shorter guys would have a, a little bit more trouble out there just because if they just miss the fairways and they're, they're laying up. Um, whereas in if you can just kind of get up there and bomb it as far as you can, you can kind of gouge something up, hopefully around the greens. But it is very, very thick and, and patchy in, in some parts of the, the golf course. Let's go to two. Uh, Rex. Jason, we spent a lot of time talking early in the week about Tiger and his back and the cold weather mm -hmm. and everything you're kind of in a similar situation so like the first three days when it's cold and everything that's going on are you a little yeah. bit more cautious yeah and then when you see the sun come out today do yeah. you kind of smile a little bit no i mean it's it's still pretty cool you know obviously uh it, it was nice to be able to have the sun for a, for a change i mean it's been uh, kind of overcast and gray here but uh it has been cool and you got to be careful it is a lot cold colder um 50 degrees pretty much to be precise from last week um so it was kind of nice to be able to, you know, play in the hot weather last week and then coming this week, you're always cautious of doing certain things, bending over. But um, I always, I pretty much lather up in deep heat and I go out, you know, I mean, I just, I try and, I try and burn the skin off my back, to be honest. Um, I feel pretty good. So I've been fine. Sorry, lather up with what? Deep yeah. heat. Oh, deep heat. Thank you. Yeah. Deep heat. We'll remember that. Let's go to Ron at three. Jason, um... Any examples of, of how strange it felt in a major to yeah. not have fans? I mean, the introduction when you made birdies, was there any moment where you thought, where, where's, the, where's the noise? Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I mean, we're on, I think we're on 11. Sorry, hold on. No, we're on 12. 12 is right by the road, right? Yeah, 12, 10. And they've cut the, cut the blue t uh, tarp um, or the, the, the actual screen that we have up. And they're watching through this through the actual fence, and it is unfortunate that we can't have fans. I actually miss uh, playing in front of fans because you obviously work off that, especially in a major championship. You work off that energy, 
there's like usually it's buzzing and, and and it happens from monday all the way through to sunday there's just a lot of people here there's a big buzz going around the golf course and today um it's we're used to it by now but it's still it's still not the same i know that we're playing a pga championship it's a major championship it's the first one of the year it's still just not the same is it more awkward in a major as opposed to a regular event? Yeah, I mean, you can definitely feel the difference in intensity. I know that the intensity is it was a little bit more quieter on the range today than it has been previously in the last you know starts that we've had on the tour. Um, and guys know that, but it's just it just doesn't feel feel right. Thank you. Okay, let's wrap things up here on number five. Go ahead, Ben. You, you, you talked about your confidence and, and gaining that, but yep. how how happy are you to actually have? your mental strength back because clearly that's out there now yeah i mean nine is an example of that you missed the putt on eight yeah uh, and there's a few it's putt on like seven missed putt on eight exactly and then you came out and did that on nine so yeah uh, it, once again i you i finally had enough of you know feeling sorry for myself um and it's very easy to do that especially in this game because it is so mentally tough um you can start blaming everything else but yourself and um you know sometimes you just got to pull your pants up and just move on you know um, and, you know, I feel like the, the momentum that I've had over the last three starts um, has, has, you know, kind of seeped into this week. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about, and I'm, you know, the funny thing is, is that I'm, every day I'm excited to go back to the golf course and play, whereas in before I was struggling to get up and going, oh, do I want to, you know, kind of put myself through this again? And uh, to be honest, it was, it, I'm excited to get out and play every week now. Thanks. Cheers. I Thanks, think guys. that's going to wrap it up. Thank you,